Hey, the Fallen State is looking for interns. There's two requirements. You have to live in the LA area and you have to love the Fallen State. Click right here to apply. The Fallen State is amazing. Subscribe now. Welcome to the Father State. I'm Jesse Lee Peterson. Today I'm speaking with a Hebrew Israelite group. I have with me Malak, right? Shalom, shalom, brother. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Thank you for Honor coming. To be here. And this is your wife, Yanni. Isn't that right? Yes. Yanni, Yanni, thank you for coming as well. Thank you for having us. We played the horn. You played the horn just before we were started. What was that about? Well, the shofar is a part of the culture of the Hebrew Israelites. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a real good uh, history lesson when it comes to the shofar because the shofar actually comes out of West Africa, right? And a lot of people think that it's, it's, it's a Jewish thing, but it, the, uh, the shofar actually comes from, uh, uh, what's the name of that? Uh, the Kudu Ram. Yeah, Kudu Ram. A Kudu Ram, and the Kudu Rams come from West Africa. So when you blow the shofar, they blew, they blew the ram's horn to knock down the walls of Jericho. So when you blow the shofar, you can blow the shofar for healing. You can blow the shofar for victory. You can blow the shofar for going to war. So there's many different reasons why we blow the shofar. So are you considered uh, uh, like the preacher or? Yes, I'm a moray of, the, of one of the groups of the Hebrew Israelites. Which means preacher Me, or means pastor. Mean pre preacher or teacher. Okay. And I, I, I was telling you earlier that I was up in Las Vegas uh, doing a debate with one of the Israelite groups. Are you different than they are? No, we all family, but we're not a part, like everybody have their own little set. So the na name of their group is GOCC. We're not a part of GOCC, but we all consider each other family. See, being a Hebrew Israelite is not a, uh, it's not a religion. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a birthright. It's a nationality. So you are considered a Hebrew Israelite by blood if you were so-called Negro in America. So were you, have you always been a Hebrew Israelite? Were you a Christian before that? Yeah, I actually uh, woke up probably around like 15 years ago. I used to go to church every Sunday. And um, my, my testimony is real interesting because I actually heard a voice from the Most High leading me and guiding me. And he took me to Deuteronomy chapter 28. And he showed me that the Bible is a Bible is a history book. It's not a religious book. It's not about uh, uh, Baptist, right. Jehovah Witness, uh, Seven Day Adventist, all these different things. It's actually a history book. And we are actually in the book and we are the main characters in the book. And so when I found out that I was a Hebrew Israelite, I was at first I was sad because the uh, what actually happened was the children of Israel went against the Most High. And we got put in a punishment. And this is all a part of Deuteronomy 28 for anybody that's listening. Uh, we can go over some scriptures if you like. It's quick ones. If, is that okay with you? Well, we'll come back to it. I okay. just want to bring right. uh, Yanni in. And so, Yanni, you are married to M Malik. Malak. Malak, yes. Malak. Yes. And were you a Christian prior to meeting Yes, him? I was raised actually in a Baptist church growing up. Really? And, I, and so you became a, a Israelite, absolutely. Hebrew Israelite. And what's the difference in being a Christian and being an Israelite, Hebrew Israelite? Well, the Israelite. difference is being a Christian, those are all man-made religions. So like my husband Malak was saying that a Hebrew Israelite, it's our culture, our heritage, our nationality. It's who we are as a people. Meaning so that you are a Jew? Yes. You a Jew? I'm a Jew. Are you the original Jew? According to the Bible and the scriptures, yes, <laughs> we are the original Jews. Yes, we are. And so... Did your life change as a result of, of becoming a Jew rather than a Christian? Yes, it did. In because what way? In regards to when I say everything, I changed everything from my diet, the things that I ate, 
before when I was going to church, although we read out of the same Bible, we weren't following those laws that are written in that Bible. The, Bible, the Most High God gives us specific foods we are to eat. I was eating everything under the sun when I say lobster, crab, shrimp. Those are all abominations. You don't those eat are, that anymore? No. Can I have your portion? You, sh you, you don't <laughs> want it either. You don't I need it. You don't need uh, it. Uh, fish and stuff. Yeah, but all those are. Uh, oh, you can eat the, fish. You just you have to eat have fish, scales yeah. on it. Oh. Everything that's in the water oh, has to have it. scales and fins. Right, okay. have, we'll have to have scales. And, and so fins. how long have you been married? We've been married for six years. Is he the head of you? Yes. He is the head. So mm -hmm. you're the head of your wife. That's correct. And what does that mean to be the head of your wife? Be the head of my wife means being a strong leader in my household, being a, a provider, being a nurturer of the Bible and spiritually, mentally, and physically through the power of the Most High. And so the, the white skinned people in Israel uh, and other places who say that they are Jews, they are not the Jews? No, they're not. And who are they? Uh, they call themselves Ashkenazi, right? So the Bible actually uh, says in uh, Genesis chapter 10 that Ashkenazi is the, is the Isles of the Gentiles. These are converts that came in and took our identity when we went into slavery. Really? Yes. And so, so you're saying blacks are the original Jews? Yes. Are you like totally convinced of that? I know that for a fact. And how has it helped you to see yourself as a Jew? Well, it gave me my identity back. Because that's what everybody that's in right. America is basically uh, experiencing right now is an identity crisis, not knowing who they are. We walking around with amnesia because they telling us that we was Africans when we came over here and not telling us where we came from Africa. And actually, I brought this chart right here so you can see. Now, this is a Negro land, right? This is actually the place where our people came from, the west part of Africa, right by Ghana, right? And so if you look deeply into this, you can see Benjamin, you can see Judah, right? You can actually see that the, the, uh, the tribes of Israel was in this place, right? So when they was actually selling people, our people, on slave ships, right? You know what they called them? What? Hebos or Ig Igbos. This was from all parts of Africa or just that particular area? Well, they, they went to that particular part of Africa and they got most of us from there, but we, are scat we got scattered to the four corners of the earth. But that was our main place that we was at. They wasn't grabbing regular Africans. They was grabbing the Hebrew Israelites. And so the blacks who were selling blacks, you had the black kings and higher uppers selling the underclass blacks in Africa. Did they know they were selling Jews? Yes, they did. They knew that. Yes. Um, so, seeing yourself as a Jew, does that make you feel better about yourself? Well, like I said, it, it, when you have your identity back, you can know, when you know where you came from, you can know where you're going. That's right. Now, the Bible was really real powerful because the whole Bible was about the Hebrew Israelites. It's a lot of prophecies that's going to take place. And without you having an understanding about who you are in the book, you will have no understanding about what's about to take place in the earth. When you came to believe, who told you that you were the original Jew? How did you hear about that? Like I said, it's in the Bible. The Bible. I know, but somebody book. had to bring it to your attention. I told you that the God Himself, the Most High Himself, called me out of my my disobedience and led me into the scriptures and showed me that I was a Hebrew Israelite. And this is happening all over the world. This ain't just happening with me. The yes. reason I ask because I've interviewed other Hebrew uh -huh. Israelites, you know, the ones in Vegas, but there's another group here in LA okay. and they wear like warrior clothes. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, and I've, uh -huh. I've seen them over the Merck Park. I've interviewed them. So there seemed to be a split between who, is, who are the real Israelites or even a monster black. No, 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 no. We all one family. But y'all fight amongst each other, though. No. What, what, what well, do you they mean don't like amongst this, each other, though? You know, <laughs> this set, don't like that set, and don't like that set. Well, it's, it, it's, if, if, go okay, ahead. It's just like any other family. Take, for instance, your blood family, right? right? You may have disagreements, oh, okay. but you're still going to love your family. Basically, the Most High been waking us up so rapidly 
right, for to be Hebrew Israelites, get ready for the kingdom to come, that a lot of us are in different places. And it just takes time for everybody to get to the same yeah. place. And, and, it's, and it's all going to happen by the power of, of the Most High in Christ, the higher by Shem When will this take place? When will this happen? Nobody no knows, knows the exact time, but we know that we are getting closer to the end. If you are the true Israelites or the true Jews, why do you read from the Christian Bible? This is not a Christian Bible. This is a, this is a Hebrew Israelite Bible. Moses was a Hebrew Israelite. When you say it's Christ not a Christian a Bible, Israelite. it's not the Bible that you were reading. Huh? Is that a different Bible than you were reading as a Christian? No, this is the, the King the James that's Version a, Bible. But that's and the this, Christian this, Bible. No, they, no. They Christians, Christians brought us here on slave ships, right? You know that, right? I guess so. So who, everybody can be a Christian. <laughs> everybody everybody can. can be a Christian. It's a religion. We're you, talking about a bloodline. So let me ask you. Prior to becoming a, a, a Jew, you had this emptiness inside, like something was missing, like a void, like something was wrong, right? Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. And so once you became a Jew, did that boy, was that boy taken away from you? Were you fulfilled completely? It, it basically gave me the understanding because I always wanted to know why we was hated so much. And we never did nothing to anybody. Who hate you? The other nations, uh, the so-called Caucasians, the Japanese, the Chinese, everywhere we go, we hate it. And I didn't understand why we was hated so much. But then when I read the Bible, it gave me the understanding and let me understand why our people were being hated so much. When you, so like, did becoming a Jew fulfill that void deep down in your soul? Oh, it did. So you don't have that void anymore? Yeah, because now I have understanding knowing that the reason why we in the situations that we're in is because we didn't serve our God the way we're supposed to. Yeah. Did you do you have that was your void taken away too? Your it was absolutely, uh, but we, we know that now that like Malak was saying that our forefathers were disobedient. So it's just like a, a parent and a child. If I do something wrong, I'm gonna be my parent is gonna discipline me. Right. So that's how we feel about the Most High God. Do you have perfect peace? I do, and and within myself knowing that I am the chosen. How about you? Yes. You have perfect peace? I have perfect peace. At because, all times? Yes, because I know I'm doing what the Most High God have commanded me to do. When you say the so-called white or oh, Caucasian, what do you mean by so-called? They don't really exist? Because uh, white is, is just a label that they get. That's not who they're it's called the in the Bible. What yeah. So what are they? Who are they? Uh, in the Bible, they could be Japheth or they could be Esau. Oh, uh, that's a tribe? Yeah. In the Bible. So, but, so they shouldn't be called white people or Caucasians? No, I didn't say that they couldn't. Uh -huh. I just say so-called because I try to stick directly with what the Bible would say. You see that white man over there by the camera? Sure. Doesn't he look like Jesus? <laughs> no. He doesn't look like Jesus? Well, it, Jesus is Caesar Bozier. So Caesar Bozier, yeah. But he not, does look like Jesus no, we know. Huh? No, the Christ that we know, he looked like me and you. But the one you used to worship as a Christian, didn't he look like that? Uh, I don't know. If he didn't have <laughs> he don't look like Caesar Bozier. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't understand what the purpose of getting into this kind of stuff. Well, How's that going to help anyone? Do you love white people? I love everybody. How about white people? I love everybody. No, just most high, most high told me not to hate nobody. Do you right. love white people? I, I love everybody who love me. How, how about white people? <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> do you, see, do you see, love, no, do you let love me, white let, people? Let me, let me explain something to you. I know, but answer that first. Being a Hebrew and Israelite is not a racist thing. Right. It's it's a it's a awakening it's an awakening that's taking place for you to get back what has been taken from you. It's not about us fighting amongst each other right. or anything like that. We know that we're being oppressed by white people. We're being oppressed by other nations, period. It ain't just them. We're being oppressed by people who don't believe in the most high, who don't want to keep right. commandments. So anybody that's unrighteous, and not saying all white people ain't, ain't, ain't righteous, I'm just saying anybody, anybody who's unrighteous, that's where we having an issue with. So do you love white people? I love everybody. But I'm only asking about white people only. 
Well, I'm going to keep saying everybody because I don't want to exclude nobody. So How about you? You love white people? I love, like, we're not born to hate anyone. Right. So. And do you love white people? I love all people. Uh, do you love white people? Are the they Caucasian. considered people? We, well, they're the we're only group the, I'm uh, asking about. We're, we're do you not love racist. white people? <laughs> Look, I have, I have uh, friends that are, are from the Caucasian race. Do you love white people, the Caucasian? Caucasian is, is white. Right, do so. you love them? I love everybody. <laughs> That's, That's I mean, we answer, yeah, we're answering the um, question. So. And so, so what's the plan? Do you plan on moving back to, to Israel? Well, what's going to happen is, according to the Bible, uh, the Most High is going to... You want to get some scriptures on this? Oh, yeah, but let me ask you this first. You said that white people and other people are oppressing black people, right? Yes. Am I right? Yeah, you don't it, think you're under oppression right now? In what way are they oppressing black people? Okay, well, first of all, um, probably like 70% of our, our people were in jail, right? Right. In prison. Um, Gang activity and drug activity is set up by the government. Um, if I wanted to go get a loan, right, in a bank or whatever, they, they would probably turn me down. Why? But other nations can come over here that don't even live here and get a loan off the bat. So you got to see Why that we are actually down? being held down as a nation. And this is a part of the curses of Deuteronomy 28, because he said that you will be oppressed and brought to a land that is not yours. And so uh, we've been here, the first slave, they said the first slave ship came here 1619, right? It's 2018, so we almost in a 400 year period, right? So we were supposed to be oppressed for almost 400, ye for 400 years. So we are approaching that time. Not saying that when we get to 400 years, that that's when the Mashiach gonna come back, but we are uh, approaching and we are getting closer to our curses being lifted off of us because we've been held down for 400 years. Why wouldn't they let you have a loan at the bank? If you went to the bank and said, hey, I'd like to get a loan, they would say no to you? More than, I, I have tried to get a loan a couple of times and I had all of the qualifications that they asked me for. And they did and not. And they, they made me jump through a million hoops. All right. And then other people that I know that's not of the same ethnicity as myself, they can go in there and get a loan. I was about to pay him to go get a loan for me. But so, <laughs> do they? <laughs> So they didn't let you have it because you were black? I believe that's, that's the reason. You believe the same thing? We go through a lot of things with that we, our eyes are open now to a lot of things we may not have saw before. So little things like that we recognize. Is it, is it possible that due to your anger toward them that you may live in, be living in an illusion? Who has we don't have, yeah. It has nothing to do to color? We don't have any anger yeah, towards we're, we're anyone. We're not angry All people. All we trying so. to do. Who are not angry people? We're not angry people. Oh, you people. two are not. Yeah. Oh, but everybody yes. else in their mom. No, I'm not saying everyone is. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, that's a lot of the stereotypes we so, get. So you, you don't think that uh, you our people is, being under, is under oppression? Not because of the white man. Oh, you don't? Uh-uh. Uh, Who rules in the world right now? They are under oppression because they have hatred in their hearts. And that no. hatred in their hearts is what Who holding them back, in their hearts? black people. Black so you have hatred, hatred in your heart? I had it, but it's gone now. Okay, so and it why? doesn't start with the white people. It start with most black men and women hate their mothers and grandmothers, and because they won't forgive them, they're living in darkness, and in that darkness, they're living in illusion, and so they've been told by the enemies of good that it's the white man when it's really they're hating their mothers and yearning for their fathers. So you have you ever heard of Stockholm syndrome? Yes. Do you know what that is? Yes. What is it? It's when Patty Davis went up, was captured by the Black Panthers, and they tortured her, and she began to hate them. And once she began to hate them, she identified with them and started supporting them. Okay. And so you become attracted so are to you what a, you are hate. You, you talking like Patty Hearst right now? How's that? Because you uh, you loving the oppre the oppressor. Now, is our nation being oppressed right now? No, not by white people. Who are we getting oppressed by then? Black people. <laughs> I don't understand. So, um, so I do love all people. I love white people. I but love you don't love the black Jews. People. I love the blacks. 
But you can't say you love the whites. Yes, I did. I said I love everybody. No, everybody is not white. I'm, you said something else that I got to get to. You said that an example of being oppressed is that the blacks are in, in jail, they're committing violence, you know, gang members and stuff like that. Do mm -hmm. you blame white people for that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. So I grew up under the Jim Crow laws. It's not, it's, I, not, I remember, it's not fully their fault. I remember for colors only signs, for whites only signs, I was restricted to where I can live. But because we had fathers and mothers getting married, out of wedlock birth was an embarrassment. Um, uh, abortion was unheard of. Blacks were taught to work and build. I had family members who owned land. Some of them never worked the plantation because they owned land and did their own thing. They were not going to jail. I didn't grow up with one person going to jail. No one around me was going to jail. If white people were oppressing and we were under the Jim Crow laws and they were causing black on black violence and uh, incarceration, why didn't we see it then uh, instead of now? Why didn't we see it then? So you don't think that that's hatred? No, but tell from, me from why the didn't, no, the question is, if it's the fault of the opp oppressor that blacks were in jail, why didn't we see it back then as opposed to now? Why didn't we see it back in Jim Crow days? Yes. Actually, the, um, our people was more actually structured back in those days. They was fighting for their equal rights. They was more organized. They was, we yeah. were, they uh, were not organized. Yeah, right they now. They weren't even thinking right of being now, organized. Right now, everybody is going it's for not self. True. They were not organized at all. They were living. They were not identifying with preachers. They were not identifying with black politicians or anybody. They only got their identity from family, from God and from family. They were not, they had no leaders, and well, they were well, better see, They became yeah. organized. Yeah. See, now this is what, this, and that's a good this point. is why, they became organized. this is why you need to understand about a Hebrew Israelite, because when everybody understands who they are and why things happen the way that they happen, then you will understand where you are going. You understand what's taking place. You understand that we need to move forward and do, do what we got to do for the most high. But why didn't we see incarceration and abortion and all that junk prior, I mean, during the Jim Crow era, as opposed to now when blacks are free? If white, if it's a white man Well, you fall, know that abortion I, is being pushed by the government up, upon our black people. I know, but the point is, when blacks were under those laws, why didn't we see incarceration and all that happening then, as opposed to now? Well, right now, I think that they locking a lot, a lot more of us up. They have the street, the three strike law, right? So you can get in trouble for one thing, and you can get three strikes off that one thing. So now our brothers is being, and now the jail. You're not telling me why it wasn't out of control prior to the Jim Crow laws. I mean, prior to overcoming the Jim Crow laws. Why didn't we see it then if it's the white man who is oppressing black people? They did see it then. You, no. did, you don't think didn't grow up who was they marching did. against? Right. Who was, they, who was spraying us with water hoses? That's oppression. But <laughs> it wasn't oppression. It was a, a, a raw law that was put on by the government, Democratic, Democratic Party, by the way, the government, and it wasn't oppressing us. We didn't feel oppressed. We saw the signs. But because we were free within, and we did believed in God. Did Martin Luther King think he was getting oppressed? Yeah, no. He the didn't? only thing that Martin Luther King did and should have done and then dropped it was to fight to change the laws and so that the same laws that governed and protected white folks were applied to black well, people. Well, the white Other people, than that, blacks would have been fine even The white today. people that you love go against you on that. They gave Martin Luther King uh, uh, his own day. When you say <laughs> that I love. Because they think that, that the, the, the things that he was fighting for was justified. You wouldn't even be able to sit in front of the bus if it weren't for Martin Luther That's King. why they need to change Parks. the laws. Huh? That's why they need to change the laws because he this, and, and he had to do drastic and things to change the laws. Alone. And he he did his with peace. We got Malcolm X. Who when you it. say the people, the white people that I that I love, am mm -hmm. I not supposed to love them? Yeah, I'm saying you love should them. Should I but, love white people? But do you think you white? So let me. Ask or do you think you uh? What, what are you? I'm asking. You, should I love white people? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but why you, you say the white people that you're supposed to love? Because as though I shouldn't love them. Because what I'm saying is the way that you're expressing your love is different from mine. How's that? Because you're condoning wickedness. How's that? Because they, it's a lot of wickedness that takes place that they have done against our people, and you want to have a blind eye to it. How am I having a blind eye? It's yeah. like, like okay, you're now, not when we came over here in slave ships, was that racism? No. That wasn't, wasn't racism? Uh -uh. He, he's, he just playing. 
Right. <laughs> why, why do you say that? Sure we all know. <laughs> why, why do you say that was racism? To take capture and force people to go somewhere that they don't want to go. And who were the racists promoting that, doing that? Who were the people doing that? The so-called white men. No, that's not true. It's not true. Black people were sold into slaves by blacks, uh, wealthy, to the Arabs. Let's get Psalm 83. Let's get Psalm 83 real Let quick. me just finish this, and All then right. we'll get to that. We okay. Will. It was the Arabs who sold the blacks across the world. It wasn't white people who just tiptoed over to Africa and just bought white, you know, took white folks. They were being sold by other black people. Is that racism for black? And they are still doing that today in parts of Africa where blacks are enslaved by other blacks and Arabs. Is that where racism? Where every black person wait, is wait, not wait, wait, wait. the Is that racism? Is not okay, the same so you want to you want to justify no, I'm asking black you, is people racism? going against black people, but you don't want to look at white people at all. No, like just nothing asking. that they have done wrong. No, that's they not used true. to grab our women. And th this is serious. This is man to man, me talking to you. You need to hear what I'm about to tell you. They used to grab our women that was pregnant, and they used to get a horse and tie her both her legs to, to two, two horses, different horses and, and split make her the apart. horses go. They used to kill. They used to smash our babies' heads. They used to feed our babies to, to alligators. alligators. And that's and not And you say that that ain't wickedness. racism. But anytime you have slavery like that, someone else controlling you, they're going to torture you like that. Uh, all, but the question all people is, have been in some form of slavery, and they have gone through that. Is it no, racism? No, that's not racism. But I want to ask this. Let me I'm ask this sure question. We on, man. We, this is yes. a joke question. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor. Hello everybody, troll your liberal family members by getting them our brand new Fallen State t-shirts. On the front, it says, The Fallen State. On the back, it says, That's Amazing. And don't forget our coffee mugs. The front, The Fallen State. The back, Did You Have Fun? And don't forget my book, The Antidote, Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. You can out of here. You can go to the Fall Estate TV and order now. How do you explain that prior to, I mean, during the Jim Crow laws, blacks were not enslaving one another by gang members and killing each other. They were not going to jail. They had families. We were unified back then. I'm from the South. I'm from Louisiana. And I've heard the stories of my grandfather and my grandmother telling me. Back then, at that time, you were saying we wasn't going to jail, but they were hanging us. They were Kinda. killing no, they us. They weren't hanging us. They were hanging. Who, who were they hanging? They were hanging some black people. But aren't you? The, the KKK, not all white people were hanging black people. Not all, all white, white people, people were hanging people. black people, but the, the whole thing is that white people were hanging, hanging black, black people, people, and you are black. What do you, what do you mean by blacks were unified? Because back, back then it was three it was three husbands to every five five households. It was now the that government was in Louisiana. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm from Alabama. That you, was you like from that. Alabama. It's the same. The whole world. It was three husbands to each five households. And now you got the government coming in and the you know they can't they won't even allow the husband to live with the wife. Do you they believe give, they give them section eight, they want to make our women comfortable, and then you have the other people coming in, which the Caucasian is whole feminist movement. That's right. When that came in, it made our black women say, Oh, we don't need a man, let's be independent. But still in all, you know, and I love everybody. And when you say you everybody, white people. white people are included with the word I didn't ask everybody. About everybody though. When you say every when we say I didn't everybody, ask everybody though. Now, you won't be the single them out like you're singling us out and you're one of us. That's exactly what you would do. What do you mean, one of us? You, 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 the so-called black so -called man. African-American. No, I'm not African-American. I'm an American. So you, you are so... <laughs> That's well, you are so-called black American. Right. Correct? You're not so-called, I am. You're, you're black. Well, let's... For face value, let me use your word. You are a black American like we are black Americans, right. Correct. Yes. So why are you trying to single them out and make us seem like we hate them when we don't? I'm the not Bible trying to do that. that I'm trying to learn. Abhor a stranger. I'm trying to learn what the ears like is about. This so let me about, ask. Uh, love and we about this book spreading right the word out of most high God. That's not a Christian Bible. What was you, you know the name of the first slave ship? And I I I heard you call this man. Jesus. I say he looked you know like Jesus. You say I didn't call him like Jesus. Jesus. Do you know the name <laughs> of the first like slave Jesus? ship that came to America? What? The name Do of you it. know the first 
The name of the first slave ship that came to America? No. The good ship Jesus. Oh, okay. So why would they associate Jesus or him with something ugly? So ugly. Now I'm saying ugly? him because that's what you said. Now, but now you're laughing because when I say that he. So let me ask. Um, you say blacks would unify. You grew up under Jim Crow laws? No, I didn't. But uh, I heard the stories of my my mother. My mother is fifty. My mother is fifty-two, and my mother was born on a plantation. In Louisiana. Right. What do you 52? mean that they were unified? They were not unified. Yes, sir. They no, were unified. No. There were blacks who did not. I grew, up, I grew up in something what we call, we call, you know, the projects, but my grandmother them called it the quarters, the slave quarters. And when my grandma would cook a pot of gumbo, you know what she would do? What? The whole Everybody ate. neighborhood would eat that one pot of gumbo. And what? as I grew up, I just, you know, as I grew up, I see the, the, the division. This family going that way. That family but going that way. But the more black didn't like the immoral Now, the black. question is this. Do you, I, I, love, I, I, do you love black people? Yes. You, you love black people? I love black people. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, do, do, you so, under, do you understand the struggles of the black people? Yes. Okay. Do you, do, now, uh, now, you ask understand? About, okay, now, why struggle. are we struggling? Due to the lack of morality and the destruction of the home. The family. The okay, how did the blacks, home get corrupted? The average black, how did the home get corrupted? Well, about right. about 60 years or so, give or take, uh, black men went along with the government the, under the Linda B. Johnson with the Democratic government mm -hmm. and said, okay, we're going to let our women accept welfare, government program, and we're going to leave the home and let the government become the daddy and then allow the corrupt black so-called civil rights leaders and other lead the people, and that's where you went wrong. It had it had nothing to do. With, okay, now listen. Because if black uh, men had been he real, just, men, he right. just contradicted he just himself. He I, said I the government is. came yes. in. Right. Oh, who, who structures the who, who structures the government? We the people. Who's we the people? We vote them in. Who is in the government? Who runs the At government? At that time, it was the Democrats headed up by Lyndon B. Johnson. Okay. But so, the blacks should not have gone along with it. It was their weakness that caused them to go along with it. Had they been no, real no. men, we see, they would not, not have given up. They would not have given up their family. Okay, so that's that's. That, let me show and you a scripture I, I on this. Let me show you why that's happening, so you can get understand. Let's oh, go to Deuteronomy okay. 28, and let's go to verse. Uh, exactly what he's talking about right now. Were you raised by your father, father and mother? And Were you raised by your father, mother? Uh, single parent home. No, no father. No. Uh, how about you? Look. Uh, yeah, I was raised with my mother and my father. Your father was in your home. Let's go to fifty-four. Your father was in your home. Yes, he was. Okay. Deuteronomy twenty-eight, verse fifty-four. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil toward his home. Evil toward his brother. Okay, so now the way that you be talking, mm -hmm. it's almost like you got an evil eye towards your own brother. How's that? Because we was just people. talking about slavery, and you only wanted to identify the Africans that was putting the Hebrews on the slave ship. Because you didn't want to identify the white people, so that's hatred Tom, towards your, your own, own brother. People. Read. You know why I wanted to correct that? Because blacks were lied to. And toward the wife of his on, brother. We're going hey, to be on. hating the Let who? me just respond to that. Hold on. All right, go ahead. The reason I'm, uh, I'm telling you the truth about it because you people are being you controlled. You people? The blacks are no. being controlled. You were one of us? I'm, I'm not a, a one of you as boys being black, controlled and manipulated. You want to be white, huh? told that the white man, <laughs> you've been told that the white man is doing this to you and you believed it to a lie and that's how you're being controlled when it really was the blacks and the Arabs who sold you to others. To whites and to other blacks because blacks had slaves. What, where did your, uh, what, did you know that blacks had slaves here as well? Okay, now you, when we came to America, who oppressed us here? Uh, the black. I don't even know what you mean by who Man, oppressed you. Just, you just blind. But huh? it's the blacks. Let's keep reading though. Starting in the middle and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Okay, so now the Bible says that the so-called Hebrew man. Being under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 would leave his house. This was this is the power of the most high making this happen because we're being disobedient. We don't have no love for ourselves, we don't have no love for the most high. This is why it's so important for us to understand who we are while we're in the situations that we're in. Amazing. Um, would you agree that most blacks are immoral? No. 
Why would you say that? I'm asking a question. Would you believe that? No. I why? mean, would you accept that? No. Why not? Because they're not. Um, according to the Washington Examiner, I don't care, I don't who care that about is. the Washington Black Examiner. women who were born in this country, who are Americans, 77% of their children are born out of wedlock. Is that immoral? We just read my, my, my daughter isn't. Is that she's immoral? sitting right there. This is, see now, is that now, now let, me, let me explain something to you. This is why the Hebrew Israelites is rising up all over the you world because we will change those events about the father leaving the mother yes. and, the, and, the, and, the, uh, and leaving his children behind. When we get this word in us, we're not going to leave our children no That's more. That's right. We have and this structure, is, this is a structure in our home. We're going to understand Absolutely. how the structure is supposed to take place, and we're going to start relying on the Most High and not the government. And building it back up the way that the Most High and God should, designed a family to be. That's what this you is should the way it's supposed to, to be. That order of God, that's God true. in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, a woman over children. We had that under the Jim Crow laws. We lost that once the civil rights movement started and the government became the daddy. If blacks had never lost that order given by God, you would not be in the condition you're in today. I mm -hmm. promise you that. So let me ask, no, I gotta go back to something. True it's, it is true. It's not true. Look, you bring, well, then if it's not true, why are you bringing that order back? We, we bring it, the, what I'm trying to tell you, how we lost the order is because, first of all, we went into slavery. When you go into slavery, you Got lost your stripped. identity, you lost your heritage, you lost your God. So why now when you reestablish who your God is, why you reestablish what your, your ethnicity is, you're not black. Black is just a color. That's right. not who you are. What color is you're your God? You're not an African American. What That's color two is, continents. What color you're is your not, God? What, how you, what's black in Spanish? What color is your God? He's, he's, he's brown, like me. God, your guy is brown? Yeah. How do you know that? Because the Mexican Let's get the Let's go to Revelations 1 and 15. But every race think that their guy is their color. We're well, going we're by the Bible. We're read it. But they'll wow. use the Bible to prove it, too. They'll use the Bible to say that, too. It, it, they, can't, they can't show they can't. Christ being no not, other color not in, but black. Not in that Let Bible. Let me ask this. Does is, your Israelite group, Hebrew Israelite group, teach that a man should have more than one wife? Uh, it, uh, a bi the Bible does say that we can have more than one wife, but if you're a teacher or if you're preaching the word, this yeah. is the same Bible that you read. What are you talking about? And it says that you're supposed to have one wife. But what do you teach that in your Israelite group? Do you teach men because that they should have you're supposed to have one wife because all of our men in our group want to be teachers and they want to be leaders. How about non-teachers of the Hebrew Israelite? Are they allowed to have more than one wife? If the Bible says, this ain't but, but just about a Hebrew Israelite. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says if you want to have a more than one wife, you can't be a teacher. I'm asking about the non-teachers. Do you teach the others that, who are non-teachers that they can have more than one wife? No, we teach, we all, like I said, we encourage all of our men to step up to be leaders and to be teachers so they won't have more than one wife. They will only have one. So are you teaching them that they cannot have more than one wife? No, it's not, it's not against the law to have more than one wife, according to the Bible. So Hebrew Israelites teaches that if you're a Hebrew Israelite, according to the scriptures, you can have more than one wife and it's fine. According to the Bible, you can have more than one wife unless you were a teacher or a more Amazing. I want to ask you something about uh, groups. You said that blacks, uh, one of the problems with black people is that they are not unified as a group, right? I, did you say that? Who said that? Yeah. That they're not unified as a group? Right. Yeah, we're not unified right now until we start. The Hebrews is, is, is the way that you're going to get unified. There's no other way. If and you don't come to the Most High and get under him, there is no unification for nobody. What's the purpose of unifying? Uh, I wouldn't want to unify with a group that I don't agree with. Our values are different. I see things different, differently. Why would I want to unify as a group? Well, and you, and your, well, you and your wife agree on everything? No. But y'all unify, right? But no. <laughs> you ever seen a man unify with his wife? You mean unify right with your, here? Your wife no. Oh, that's that's sad. Why that's is that sad? sad? That's horrible. Well, you say, when you leave your mother and your father, and you you're supposed to wife, cleave you thing, to cleave your wife. Together, you well, you know why we're not unified? Why? I'll have one. Uh, you know what? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> But let me ask, let me ask you So this. if you did have one, you know, is she going to she gonna she, look like you? She'll come along dragging. You know how women are. Uh -huh. You know how women are. You have to drag them along. 
No, I, don't know I wouldn't about say that. that. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we don't put our women down like that. Let no. me ask you this. Um, do you believe human beings are in a falling state? Human beings? Yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about America. America is the daughter of Bob Babylon, and America has fallen. And it's under judgment right now. So, yes, it's at a falling state right now. Do you believe human beings are in a falling state? Not all human beings, no. You don't believe all human beings are? No, no just the wicked ones. because we're rising. Israel is rising. Um, amazing. What's the, uh, what's the purpose of a reader? I know you brought a reader. And yeah, because we're supposed other. to go over a lot of scriptures to prove what we speak out of the word of the Most High. But reading scriptures like that doesn't prove anything. All it does is give you... Are you a pastor? It built, yeah. So you <laughs> said reading scriptures doesn't prove anything. Right. Because When what the Bible it, says that uh, we're supposed to go to the Word to prove all things. I'll tell so, you what it means So you that. a pastor? Let me tell you this. Um, reading Scripture just builds your ego and makes you feel like you know more than the average person. And then you go and get a church, and you, you, know, you call yourself a preacher or a teacher, whether it's Christians or whatever religion. And it just build your That's intellect. That depends on and the so, individual. Now you can bring so, your individual in there. It depends so on the individual. Do, it it, it builds you yourself. up to make you think, and then you have these people looking up to you. Do you no. know that the kingdom of heaven is within you? The kingdom of heaven is coming. Do you know that the kingdom of heaven is within? It, it, it is within us, but it's also coming. So if, if it's already within you, it's already here, how is it coming? Because the Bible says it's coming. Which is, that the 12 tribes of Israel we scatter, we scatter to the four corners of the earth will be delivered in the last days and brought to the unwalled villages and live for a thousand years. See, that's just intellectual with knowledge. Christ. You're waiting on something that has already happened. It hasn't happened Because yet. you're into How this intellectual yet? knowledge. The kingdom of heaven is within. You agree to that, right? I said that it, we, we, it's... The we reason why the kingdom of heaven was within us is because Christ is within us. So it's here already then, right? No. no. It's Aren't coming. You, are you not here already. right now? Yeah, I'm here right now. And so where you so, are so is So this the is kingdom. the kingdom for you? So where you where, are. Where, where, where your people is being um, me, tortured, uh, tortured and, and beaten, killed on the street, raped, they, they shot the down by the police? Like Let me ask you. Come on now. So the kingdom of heaven that is within you. You're here right this now. This is not my kingdom. It's, not it's the, the kingdom, kingdom for us. inside of you right now. This is not, not my kingdom. kingdom. I'm talking about within. I, Christ is within us. It's the kingdom so of heaven. The, kingdom, the kingdom of heaven that's within you is it here right now with you, inside of you. Christ is within me. I'm asking about the kingdom. Is it here too? Yeah, with Him being with me, it's a part of the kingdom. Do you believe that the Bible is the uh, word from God or the word of God? It's it's the word of God. So the word that's in your heart, what word is that? That yep. written up on your heart, what word is that? that the, the, that's, a, that's the uh, new covenant that's supposed to take place. You don't think that has taken place? No. So you don't know that the word is already written up on your heart? No. Uh, you don't um, know that either? No, Do you want to get scriptures on that? We would not yeah. be studying. If it was already in us, we wouldn't have to teach each other about the words and that's the commandments. That's right, and, and you and don't have to do that. What it is... You yes, have not do. realized that the word is already written in your heart. And so you're not being taught from within. You've been taught from without. And that's why things are not working. Well, that's not that's the truth. If you were to allow the Holy Spirit, what is supposed to be written in your heart? What is supposed to be written in your heart? The word of God. What is the word of God? The truth. Do you know what the light, is actually supposed everything. to be written inside your heart? What's that? The commandments. That's in our heart. Okay, so you keep the commandments? Yes. Okay, so you keep the Sabbath day holy? I'm not into all that. So you don't so keep that the commandments? That ain't the commandments you don't keep the then. Every day is holy for and me. And you still How eat crab and shrimp, so you ain't every keeping the commandments. Every day is holy for me because I love what's right with all my heart, soul, and might. So I'm living by that. So I treat my fellow man and woman, which means fellow man, as I would like to be treated. Oh, every day is holy, not just some oh, Sunday yes. or some set aside uh, day. That makes sense. See, see you can't no. uh, lean to thy own understanding. I got to ask you this because I went to your website and you said, oh, you, you have a video on your website that talk about the curse of African American black people. Are black people cursed? Yes. They are cursed. Mm -hmm. And what is the curse? Give me Jeremiah 3 and 6. And then I got to end. I know I'm out of time, John. I mean, Joel 3 and 6. It was just getting good. <laughs> <laughs>
The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. Okay, so our, our punishment was to be scattered to the four corners of the earth. Now, in the last days, the Most High is going to gather us from the four corners of the earth, and then the same punishment that he put upon us is going to return on the people who led us into slavery. Amazing. Reversed. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, is that the Old Testament he's reading from? Yeah. He, mm -hmm. And do you realize that the Old Testament is done, done. with? The no. New Testament has with. been finished? Yeah, I mean, and, let me and everything, <laughs> and everything has been put back to order, but you're still living in the Old Testament? Do you know that? No. You live it as though okay. you're still living in that time. Okay, you, first, you first of all, Christ comes back in the Old Testament in Isaiah. He's already come. In Isaiah 63, you're going to see Christ coming back. You don't in believe the Old that he's already done that? Wait a minute. Can, 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 I, can I say something? Yeah. Okay, now in Isaiah 65, right, it talks about the new heaven and the new earth, right? There are prophecies all through the Bible that hasn't took place yet that's in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament, right? So Okay, so why would you disregard the Old Testament when it hasn't fully been fulfilled yet? There is much information in the Old Testament that you can find in the New Testament. Everything goes hand in hand. You got to have the New I, I Testament the, with the I Old. I read the Old Testament, but let me ask. You don't know that Christ has already come and that he's already redone what he uh, already the came. first son, yeah, where he came, and he's redone what the first son did, who fell away from the father, and then keep the word. Where you at? Christ came and he restored that. Where you at? You don't know he did that. Where you at? He's in you. You don't realize it. Wait, now you saying he came and back? And he sitting at when the right he hand come of back? the father. When did he come back? You don't read the New Testament? Yeah, I read the New Testament. You don't know that that's about him coming back. He's taking care of everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, he came back. And he, and he basically what he did was he became the spiritual high priest, right? So therefore, with him becoming a spiritual high priest, we don't have to sacrifice no more. We don't have to kill each other. We don't have to stone each other no more because he took the death for us. So therefore, we must keep the law. My, as uh, Matthew 5 and 17 says, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets, not one jot or one tittle, and no wise shall pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Do you sin? We sin, the sins that we commit is sins that we don't know about. Do you if, we, if we have knowledge of the truth, this is Hebrews 10 and 26. Hebrews 10, get here, Hebrews 10, 26. When we come into the knowledge of the truth, there is no more sacrifice for sins. Do you, so things that I don't know about, yes, I do sin. So you still but the sin. things that I have knowledge of, no, I don't. So you do sin. The things that I don't know about, yes. If you don't know about it, how do you know you're sinning? The most, that, exactly. The most I said he winks at your ignorance. Amazing. So you're sinning and don't know it. Yeah. You sin too? Yes. The things that I don't know of, but the things that I know that I'm supposed to follow according to that Bible and the most high God, I don't do it. Two quick last questions. Um, are you proud of the great job that the great white hope has done in the first year in office as president. Who's the great white hope? The president. <laughs> president Trump. Who <laughs> sent you? Who sent you, Try to shake his hand. Try to shake his hand and see right, if he shake your hand. Right, see if he pass you up. <laughs> so Stick you your hand out, try to shake his hand and see if you shake your hand. Right. Did and you, see how much you love your white hope. So you're not proud of what he's done? No. Did you vote for him? Huh? Did you vote for him? No. no. Do you vote? No. Oh, Israelites don't vote? No. Oh, okay. And you're not proud of the great white hope either? You are? I don't call him the great white hope, you first of all, but no, I'm Very not proud of so. Trump. Very you put so. the country first. And my last question, did you have fun? <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know how to answer that, man. I don't, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like sad, man, because yeah, of the way I am your, too. your views. Yeah. It, it's, not, it's not fun That you to don't love you your like people. You're, you're one did of Did you us. have fun? No. You didn't have fun. Did no. you have fun? I had a good time, but I would have had a better time if you were in a different place mind than frame. where you are. I've You're been there before, frame. but God took the anger away. He set me free. We're, We're not angry people. We're not angry what? people. Did you yeah, you fun? real funny. Hi. Don't forget to like, 
follow, subscribe, retweet, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell everybody. Yes, and all of the things that I said that I wanted come rushing by in my head when I'm with you. Fourteen joys and it will to be merry. All of the things I can say are very sentimental. Broken through my life again. Sentimental lady, gentlemen. Sentimental. Next time on The Fallen State. There's a serious attack upon men right now. I agree. They'll try to kill them. It's true. There's a lot of witches that feel like they need to use magic to punish, like a vengeance. So if there's a, a dirty witch sitting in a closet somewhere. Ruminating. She, right. They'll perform and bind the spells on the great white hope. That's right. So they're like, let's bind this great white hope. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching The Fallen State. We need your continued support. Donate to my nonprofit here. Subscribe and like the videos here. And tell everybody and their mama about the show.